Flexbox layout modules make it easier to design the flexible responsive layout structure without using the float or positioning. Like before the flex layout, in order to create such layouts, we used to use block for section in order to position them or inline for the text. But now with the in introduction of the flex, it's easier to design such layouts. Hence, your challenge for the day is to create a layout using the flex and um, your layout is basically this one. And for the fonts, you should use the Google fonts. Um, you are free to use any fonts, but make sure that um, the design is very near to um, the structure that has been provided. The um, quotation, you can change it to the one that you require. This is a link. You can actually place a hashtag uh, because we don't want it to link to any other site. And this could be your name and your university name. These icons could be, um, I mean, you can switch the uh, icons to LinkedIn and Twitter. Probably I would say not to use the Facebook over here, just uh, or keep them, um, just keep them blank for the privacy reasons. Anyway, so now uh, where, from where you can get the fonts, so you can visit the fonts.google.com to get the fonts, whichever you like and use them. So to use them, just for example, if I want to choose Roboto, I'm going to actually uh, select the style. So for instance, I want, I have two fonts over here. One is a normal and the other one is a little bolder. So I can go for light, then I can go for the 700. Once I do that, I can embed the URL onto my HTML page or, I mean, that's how you will do it. Then the other thing for the icons is you should use the font awesome. Uh, it's a free, um, you can say a, it, it, it's a free library or for the icons and you can just place them within your um, HTML. And the best part is you don't need to use the images. Uh, so rather than using the images in order to place them in a the modern day, we actually use the fonts. So it's a font library, you can say. Um, over here, um, the one I prefer is a fontawesome.com slash version 4.7. So you can scroll down and click the older version. It's free because the CDN is available for it. And um, you can go to icons and um, can find the one that you like. So for example, if I want to use uh, Twitter, I'm going to go and search for Twitter. And let's suppose I want to include this. This is the HTML um that i that i'll be using uh, from where i can get the cdn uh, the cdn is bootstrap cdn.com slash font awesome you can just directly um copy this and place it within your html header uh how will you actually um provide or mm, the code and the way you will do it is via the js fiddle going to write everything uh, your html over here your CSS over here, the result will be uh, displayed once you run. And uh, obviously you need to save it in order to share the URL. You can uh, use the CDNs like the one over here uh, and also the font ones over here um, and write your HTML code over here. Like that you can use. So I look forward for the for your work and i'm really excited thank you